Yo, what's going on? Cuts by Reggie back with another video, right? First off, if you're not subscribed to the channel, please subscribe, comment, like, share, dislike the videos if you dislike the video, right? So today, we're just gonna quickly talk about the Bevel Shaver, the foil shaver from Bevel. Now, if you've been following Bevel, they had the trimmer out for a while, and that was kind of like their only product that they had. And then they brought out the trimmer slash clipper combo that was pretty decent uh it was the um you alternate between the trimmer blade the clipper blade and once you got the clipper blade you push the button and make it you know open up and all that it was pretty cool nothing that i would use but as far as machine and the way that the trimmer worked it worked fine right so now and after that they had the like i said they had the trimmer then the clipper slash trimmer then they got products and then razors and stuff but this is their newest product, which is the Bevel Shaver. Um, it dropped a little while ago, and on their website, this is $109.95, I think. Um, $109 and some change. So that is the pricing. I did an unboxing of this, but we can go through it real quick. Just open the box. Pretty much the only thing that was in here was the charging cable. You get a bevel bag some oil and a small little cleaning brush right and that was pretty much the only thing this was the design of the bevel shaver right not bad not too loud swivel head right here just to go around the uh the, the contours of your head and neck and all that stuff which was pretty cool it is water, uh, what is it? Water resistant, waterproof. You can clean this part of it in the water when you're taking the uh, the uh, the blades off. One thing I didn't like about this, or I mean, it's, it's cool because it is the foil, but you know, sometimes you can get the, the, uh, the head and then the blades separately. This is just one, one item. It's got the clipper, I mean, the, the blades in the cutter all in one. It's not two different, uh, the um the two different sections like the foils and then the cutters with the bevel it is just one one uh full item together which is fine it's not a problem but anyway you take that off you can rinse it underwater to clean it and all that um swivel here like i said this is the power button you see it got the leds now the best thing about so two things about this so it can get a for, you can have a rapid five minute charge that it gets you enough time to do one full shave. On the box, it say, on the box here it says one full charge provides up to three weeks of shaving, but it does give you on this side after one after one full charge you get 50 minutes of cordless power. But I've been using this for three weeks, day in day out, alternating heads. About two weeks, haven't died a bit. It has just now started to getting down to the bottom so it will be down here soon but that was what i was trying to get it to do to see how long it took to actually you know lose power and then i have to get it charged back up but it says you five minutes of quick power i mean five minute quick charge to get a full if you want to do a head shave or face shave and then a full hour to get a full charge and on one side of the box it says provides up to three weeks of runtime then on the other side of the box, it says give you up to uh, 50 minutes of run time. So you give or take which one you want to, you know, use. But it has been lasting nonetheless. Also, if you care, it has this travel lock too, where if you hold it for three seconds, just in case it don't get bumped around uh, while you're traveling and stuff. So when you try to turn it on, if you can hear that. But hold it for three seconds. and then cut back on just something if you are looking for it is there just in case you're traveling with it because it is small but either way so again waterproof uh swivel head uh 
clean it you with the water and take the head off this is how you take the head off it's just a little clip right there put it back on easy enough right but the main thing is the use right so everybody is when we're looking for stuff the price is one thing and then how it works is another right this has been now let me say this let me try to explain it, it has been the smoothest shaver i have used in a sense that sometimes when you're using these you can feel it you know grinding and taking down the hair with this at first i didn't even think it was working right it's just so smooth it glides over bald heads it glides across the the one i'm using it on the face it's just it glides with with ease right the only problem with that is it does not have enough power enough oomph to take down um thick hair. like even where my hair is right now i tried to use it on my length right now and it wouldn't necessarily take it down but if i take one of these uh this fx from babeless or one of my wild shavers it's going to take that down so even with this length right here i would still have to take my trimmers over it which i i wouldn't right now because it's too short and anyway i still have to take my tr my trimmers over this to get it lower but then once this is able to get to the hair it is a smooth cut i honestly thought with this third with this blade in between the foils they would actually give it a more of a powerful cut and it does sometimes but it's not an all-around shaver in a sense of if you got if 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 somebody's hair is too thick like i got two white guys and they uh they get bald face right and when I'm fading them up, I can take this across his one of their hair and it takes it away. But one of them hair, first off, is thick and then it's also gray. So, you know, gray hair is stubborn. This can go across it, but it, it seems like it has to work up to actually get it done. And sometimes it don't really take it down as close as you want to. But it's like if you got the hair low enough and it's not too thick it's smooth and it can take it and it can get the hair down to where you want it it's clean it and once it's working it's, it leaves a smooth surface behind but it doesn't compare to some of the other box shavers that i have been using or even the tea uh the tea shaver from andis you know what i'm saying that one was powerful it'll take down my beard that shit was insane but this is good at times right it is only a hundred dollars um it lasts forever though like battery wise it lasts forever but i don't know if it can compare to some of the other shavers that's on the market right so in a sense of running out and buying it um if you are looking for a new shaver and really like don't want to spend too much because some of these shavers are 150 199 so if you're not wanting to spend too much on a shaver i definitely say try this bevel shaver out it is cool it it it, it uh, got the 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 flex head that goes with the skin the, and all that so it's real good and I know a lot of people are asking me how do it compare to the bronze series 9 I have yet to even use the bronze series so I'm gonna try that out but I know price wise they're on two different scales you know what I'm saying that is one thing I do know price wise two different scales I know the bronze is two something three something I don't even know but this is only a hundred dollars um it is a good shaver it's just almost like you have to get everything down close enough and then go over everything to get it a smooth uh give it a smooth surface but it is a decent shaver it's a decent shaver um nothing that i say definitely you have to go get but it's also nothing that i say you shouldn't try it at all you know what i'm saying so um if you are a shaver at your if if you have a shaver right now and it's getting a job done i definitely say leave the bevel leave it alone if you are in the need of a shaver or if you're on a budget i say try it out it's a good shaver though you know what i'm saying it's just nothing that um is um it's not making you super excited about trying it out you know what i mean it is lightweight it's quiet it gets the job done but it's not gonna be your all around shaver. I do like that build though. That is one thing you had to get used to because I'm used to using the, the box shaver. So 
the way that I go is is it's just easy. I don't and not saying that it's just when you, when people say that Ew, what makes it so hard to use? It's not hard to use. It's just different. You know what I'm saying? It's just that body style. The way you holding it is different. You know what I'm saying? So, boom. That's my opinion on the bevel shaver. Should you try it? If you on a budget and you want a new shaver, yes. If your shaver is doing a job and you ain't in no rush to get one, this is not the one to rush out and get. All right? That is my opinion on the bevel shaver. But it is smooth though. Like at first I didn't even think it was working, but it was, but I didn't think it was cause it's so quiet and so smooth. Anyway, that's my opinion on a bevel shaver, the foil shaver, electric shaver. Booyah. Um, if you're not subscribed to the channel, please subscribe, comment, like, share, dislike the videos if you dislike the videos and we will be back with a review, a tutorial, an unboxing, or some type of content. We got something coming. Something. All right. Peace.